think I told. I, I don't, because I ain't really talked yet much, so I don't think I, I told yet. Okay. And what, what lie did you tell them that you told police? <laughs> did I spin the story that, you know what I mean? Shit, I told her, God damn it, you know. Shit, these motherfuckers on me, so I put it up on everybody else, get them off me. So you told Monk Talk that you told the... So I want to be clear, because you said you told Montonk. So you told Montonk, I went to the police, and I told them that Little D told me about what happened the night of the murder. No, I told Montonk that the detective Thor questioned me, and he shit, he let me right back out. I said, this nigga dumb. Like, I just, my bad. I said, I went, I told Montonk that, shit, you can tell the detective Thor anything. He going to go for it. Did you tell him specifically about what Little D told you? The D never told me nothing. So, I, so this how I go. They done question me so many times. Even even over the phone, they done call me. Now, who did this and then gave me? Who did this and then third? I ain't do it. I don't care nothing about it. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Why they, why they, why they, why they? <laughs> I ain't in handcuffs, so I didn't, really, I didn't really have to come up with no story. I want to talk specifically about the June interview, okay? Yes. When you gave up most of the information. Most of what information? Did you tell Monson that in that June interview, I told the detective that Little D told me what happened the night of the murder. <clears throat> I told, okay, every time they question me, um, and I left, one of y'all didn't lock me up on, and I mean, I was telling Little D, I mainly told Little D, and I mean, because I, I felt like Little D always had my back, so I was telling Little D what the police would question me about, and the answers that I was giving him, and Little D was like, damn, boy, you here. Like, um, with Moonton, I just like, shout out to them, they on me, you feel me? Like, shh, what they, they trying to get me, you know what I mean? Like, I put off on Shell Kill, like, I just told Moonton stuff like that. So I'm asking you specifically, because this is my question. Did you ever tell Moonton that you told police that Little D told you what happened the night of the murder? Uh, well, I... I can't be specific uh, about that because, like I said, I know I went back to Moonton. I ain't gonna. I got into it with Moonton because it's like I was telling him like, but they on me, and then I, I felt like he was starting stuff up. So, yeah, I felt some type of way towards him. So yes, you did tell him what you I, I told Moonton. I felt like I was telling him that how I was spinning the police and, and he was creating a problem. So I stopped talking to Moonton at one point. So I don't. I can't be specific on what I was telling him, but I just kept telling him that, you know, I told him that they, they asked about me and him. They asked about me, me, him, and, I mean, not me, him, but me, Doc, and Head. So they keep tying me to the murder, and I just kept throwing it off on shit. But I, uh, they, they nothing them roll out the floor, uh, this and then third. Like, it, shit, they just going for it. That's, that's why I was telling I can't really be specific on what I was saying because this was so long ago. Let me ask you this. Did you tell Monson that, it was Shannon, Nard, Yak, and Duwop that shot Nut. Um, no, I mean we don't discuss that. Like, I don't, really, I don't, I don't know nothing about saying none of that. You said you also talked to Shannon about what you said to police. Did you tell Shannon that you told police that he, Yak, Duwop? And Nard shot and killed Nut. Why would I tell him that? I mean, I, I, Shannon probably wouldn't, he probably was surprised to hear that I said that. So I don't. Did you tell Thug that you told police that he drove the Infinity? I mean, excuse me, that he rented the Infinity, that Shannon, Yak, Nard, and Duwop were in the Infinity when <clears throat> the murder happened? I didn't think this stuff was going to come out, so, because, like I said, so I didn't tell them none of it. What I'm telling them that for? I don't want it. And did you not tell them because you knew you snitched on them about what happened the night of the murder? Huh? That, I, can't, I, I can't snitch on nobody that I don't... <laughs> 
Like I said, if I knew if I knew that the problems that I caused would have did this, like I said, you know what I mean? I wouldn't even, I didn't even think y'all had, I didn't even think y'all would do this. So talking about snitching on somebody, that ain't, that ain't, this ain't their case. Let me ask you this. Outside of Deshaun, did you tell anyone what you told police about Yak, Shannon, Duop, and Nard killing Donovan Thomas? I'm I'm gonna make sure you hear me this time. I don't know. I, I never seen Yak, Shannon, Duop, and Nord. They never told me they did anything to nut uh Donovan Thomas. Uh I never saw them do anything to him. Um I'm not trying to defend nobody, no nothing. Y'all trying to use lies that I don't told in the past against these men. Um and I'm just here to screen it up on my behalf that I lied. So you can't sit here and say I snitched on them for a crime that I don't know if they committed. I asked a better question then. Did you ever tell anyone outside of Deshaun that you told police what little D told you about the night of you, the murder? You saying outside of Deshaun? I never told Deshaun that they did this. I told Deshaun that people were saying I killed nut and I didn't do it. That's what I told Deshaun. And I and I told her that she needed to let the police know that I didn't do it. And so I asked you again, did you tell anyone that you told police that Shannon and Yak killed Nut? You said, did I tell the police? Did you tell anyone that you told the police that Shannon and Yak killed Nut? Did I tell anyone that I told the police that Shannon and Nut killed? That Shannon and Yak killed Nut. Not that I know. I don't know. You confusing me. Now, so is it fair to say you never told anyone that you told the police that Yak and Shannon? You trying to you trying to trap me up? Sustained. Did you ever tell anyone at all? Yes, no, or you don't remember? I don't know that he's answered it, so I'm going to overrule that. If you yes, no, I don't remember. Did you ever tell anyone that you told police that Yak and Shannon killed Nut? <clears throat> I don't know how to answer that because I don't, I don't want to say, yeah, I did. I want to say, no, I didn't because I don't, I can't remember. And can you not remember because that's not because you don't want to tell me an answer? I've been telling you the answer since I've been in here. What's the, so what's what the purpose of me getting up here and saying now? I, like I told you last week, uh, whenever I told you that if I was seeing them, uh, if they would have told me that they killed Nut, I would stop right here and say that Shannon said he killed Nut, or uh, Yet said he killed Nut. Neither one of those told me that. I told you that I was going through a phrase in my life, you know what I mean? And trying to tell the police anything. Yeah, every time they question me, I told Mouton, hey, yeah, man, I just left down there. They trying to question, but they trying to bitch put it on me. Uh, they trying to do that. Why? Why? They, you know, I this prosecutor is definitely being redundant in the questioning to the point I don't even feel like it's leading anywhere. Um, but we're going to go ahead and listen a little bit more. Earlier, did you say that I don't recall means I don't want to speak on it? No, I said I don't recall because you'll confuse me and I don't want it. you trying to make me lie. So you're asking the question in a way, like you talk to me back there in a way I, I can comprehend you well. So even though I'm talking the way I'm talking, I, I can hear you, but I don't, like my, my level of understanding is, is different. So if you talk to me like how you talk to me in a bad street way, then I can answer you better. But the way you ask me now, it's just like, it seems like it's a trick question. You want me to say something? Just, just straight up say it to me. Okay. Last 
And this is coming from the man who just made a song called I Don't Recall. Don't be asking me about nothing. I don't recall. Woody get up here and play games every day. I guess in the interview, you were thanking God that you were not on this indictment. Do you remember Mr. Weinstein asking you that? Yes. Okay. Why did you thank God that your name wasn't on this indictment? You said, why well, I'm thanking God that I'm not on that? Yes. Because how y'all keep locking me up? Like, y'all done locked me up. Y'all locked me Y'all locked me they, they locked me up for looking at the police the wrong way. Like, so to see y'all lock up everybody in and, and and, and I'm I'm so traumatized by keep going to jail. I'm expecting to be I'm already in jail at the time, so I'm already expecting y'all to come down there and get me again. So the crimes that you talked about last week that you said you committed, um, you said that you when I said shot that, up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go, that you shot up Rich Homie Quan's dad's barber shop with threat. Do you remember? I some? said it out of frustration. Okay. Was that a crime that was done on behalf of YSL? Huh? Was that a shooting that was done on behalf of YSL? Miss Hills, you know me. You know what I mean? If I do anything, I do anything on my own. Like, ain't no a crime on behalf of YSL. Like, I keep telling you, y'all trying to make YSL be a gang. And now that a gang, you take, you got, you got shot callers, you got, you got scrutiny, you got leaders and all of that. Like, uh, YSL a label. So if, like how y'all got all these people in here or whatever. You can't say. And this, my friends, is what you call a pancake flip because he is definitely not trying to send nobody from YSL to jail anymore. He has changed. He has changed. Oh, y'all making this stuff be what y'all want it to be because y'all can do that, but it's not right. Back in 2015, did you have a beef with Rich Homie Kwan? No, I never had beef with Rich Homie. And isn't it true that you told police that Thug had an issue with Rich Homie Kwan because he brought some if gang members to his condo? No, Threat had issues with Rich Homie Kwan. I didn't ask about Threat. I asked but, about what you told police regarding Thug having an <clears throat> issue with Rich Homie Kwan bringing individuals from if gang to his apartment. Thug was protecting Rich Homie Kwan. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So, like I keep telling y'all don't have y'all fast together. So I'm asking you a specific question. Did you tell police that Thug had an issue with Rich Homie Quan bringing members of If Gang to his condo? Uh, again, when I'm talking to the investigators, I'm gonna tell them anything to get them out of me. But as I sit right here, I'm telling you the God and the truth that Thug, I, I had an issue with Rich Homie through threat. And, and about my partner, whatever he went on with, they don't have nothing to do with YSL. Y'all trying to make it seem like this has some just because they don't have nothing to do with what, what, what I do and what threat do, they don't have nothing to do with YSL. I still think I heard answer. Did you tell police that Thug had an issue? I think I just answered you. I don't think you did. Oh, if you did, I did not hear you. So oh, you I'm sorry. I, yeah, I said it. Thug was trying to protect Rich Homie. He was calling us saying that, man, hey, man, leave Rich Homie alone. Like, you know, he don't tell me what to do. So that still didn't answer the question. Yes, no, I don't recall. Did Thug have an issue with Rich Homie Quan bringing members of If Gang to his apartment? Thug, so did you have an issue so what, with Rich Homie? I'm asking you for what you told the police. And I'm, and I'm answering you. I just told you several times. I tell the police anything. Okay. Do you recall talking about the shooting at the studio with Rich Homie Quan's car last week with um, Mr. Sharp. I don't know nothing about that. And you asked him if he had proof. He asked you if it was you who did it and you asked him if he had proof. Right. Why was that your response to his question? I ain't answering it. I don't know. Was that shooting done on behalf of YSL? What shooting? At the studio. The I, one you asked him if he had proof of. Yeah, because I, that was my first time hearing something about some shooting. I, I don't recall. I don't, I, like, I don't know. I don't, you tell me I was shooting at the studio. If, if. All right. 
Now, Mr. Sharp, on cross-examination, I believe he said to you that you had time between January 11, 2015 and June 10, 2015 to make up the lies that you told on your friends. Do you remember him asking you some questions around that? Can you, can you ask me that again? Sure. Last week, Mr. Shard asked you whether or not you had between January of 2015. Okay. Can you sustain, but with regard to being able to hear you, um, do you have a, I think the mics might be working now, so pick it up and. I'm going to. Yes, it, it works. Yes. I'm Maybe. going to eject sustain. that's a mischaracterization of the of the testimony. Do you recall testifying, Russell, maybe I had the question wrong, about what happened between January of 2015 and June of 2015? I am, can you, can you ask it again? Sure. Let me just ask you this. Yeah, that'd be nice if you would just get to what you want to ask instead of whether he recalls what he said last week or not. I mean, just skip that part. Thank just you, Just get to the question you want to ask. Thank you. Um, on January 11th, you did not tell the detectives what you knew because you were trying to protect your friends, correct? No, I tell you, I was raised to lie to the police. So if you look at my history, like police asked my name in the past. I told them somebody else's name. I, I just do that for no reason. I'm walking down the street, police, what's your name? I say, I give my little cousin's name. Driving without license, what's your name? I give him somebody else's name. So this is, this is how we raised up. And in this interviews, all these interviews, you gave them your real name, correct? Because they know who I am. All right. And in all these interviews, you gave them your real phone number, correct? Because you got to understand, like, when you lie, you ain't lying to get caught. But you said you, you just said you were raised to lie to the police. So, but hey, you didn't do that in these interviews. I correct? gave it to the ones who didn't know, like, know the information. That, like, for instance, with Gaten, Gaten knew my name and stuff. She knew my number. Why would I lie in? But you didn't do that with Thorpe, correct? Yeah, because what I, what I had to do that for. And you didn't do that. I had to. I, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it didn't take a rocket science. So, so they talking about a murder. This is serious. This is serious. So you got to conquer it. You didn't lie to Detective Curry about your name and who you I don't are. know who that is. The one who interviewed you after they shot at you, they shot in the baby. Correct? I'm a victim. All right. And in that June interview, when multiple detectives came and talked to you, you didn't lie to them about who you were, correct? About who I was? Who you was. They they knew who I was. Okay. It gets to the point the police don't even ask me my name no more. They just walk up on me. Yeah, would it, they, they already know everything about me. In January of 2015, you hoped or you thought that your friends were going to protect you out in the street, correct? I've been protecting myself since I... I've been protecting myself. By the time June came, Shannon wasn't talking to you anymore, correct? That's a lie. Okay. If gang wasn't shooting at you, correct? If gang was shooting at you, correct? You know who was shooting at me? People from if gang were shooting at you, correct? I can't say for a fact. In June, you thought that Thug was trying to kill you, correct? In June of 2015. Um... I was going to use that for a platform to start problems with. So I use people to, you know what I mean? I don't, to be honest with you, mm, yeah, I let people get in my head. And by June of 2015, you thought that you were out here all by yourself, correct? I still feel like I'm out here all by myself. It don't, I'm just trying to just keep myself free. And that is why you told the police what you knew or what Little D told you about Nuts murder, correct? Little D never told me anything. And again, if you ask me now, we can speak now. But if you want to keep going in the past, I'm going to keep telling you the same thing. Like, I didn't tell the police anything. Now, you known that you've had to testify in this trial since, or that you were going to be asked to testify since about November 2022, correct? <sighs> The way y'all played it, man, y'all kind of kept me in a blind. But I, I, in my heart, I feel like y'all, y'all probably was gonna call me. But people would tell me, that, oh, well, not people, but I was hearing that y'all won't call me because y'all knew I was lying. So 
And to the day you can't see me in Pittsburgh, that's when I was like, oh, damn, they for When the day you can't see me in Pittsburgh, I was like, dang, they for real. And ever since you either heard about it in 2022 or I actually came to see you, you have not wanted to testify in this case, correct? Said it, yeah, because I lied. I knew I lied. You can't put me up here to the, the lie. Why, why you think I've, I'm, I'm, I'm so scared because I, I don't know. I can't remember my lies. So it's just like, you don't know which one to lie and which one is true. So you could just easily be like, well, you lying. We'll lock you up. I ain't trying to go back to jail. And for the last two years, you've been trying to figure out how you going to get around having to face these, your YSL counterparts about what you told the police back in 2015, correct? <clears throat> if anybody know me, they better be serious with me. And you made up in your mind that you were going to tell this jury whatever it is that you were going to finesse, that you were finessing the police back in 2015, correct? I had no intentions in seeing in front of this jury. Y'all forced me to sit up here. Y'all gave me immunity. I, I told y'all I lied and I'm going to plead the fifth. And because we forced you, you had to figure out how to finesse your way through testifying in front of this jury, correct? I'm not finessing my way. I'm telling my truth. Like, and, and this just did. Now, in 2015, you consistently said you told the police whatever you could to get yourself out of jail, correct? Yes, ma'am. And your finessing was about you getting out of jail, correct? And me only. It was never about protecting Thug back in 2015, correct? And it still ain't about, right now, it's just, it's like, and you might try to say I'm protecting him now. It's just my conscience. You know what I mean? My conscience knows this man ain't doing anything. And I'm not trying to have it on my conscience. Okay. But in 2015, when you talked to the police in any of those 2015 interviews, you always omitted your roles in crimes because that would make sure that you did not go to jail, correct? Uh, I don't understand. Sure. In 2015, when you talked to the police about crimes that you were involved in, you left yourself out of it, correct? <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Because that would make sure that you didn't go to jail, correct? What you mean? When you talk to the police, you didn't tell them about your role in Rich Homie Quan's dad's barbershop shooting, correct? Did they ask me about that? You told them that Rich Homie Quan wanted to pay money for threat to shoot up the barbershop or wanted to pay people to, to harm threat because he yeah. shot up the... Yeah, because I'm trying to I'm trying to make the police believe that I can help them. So a lot of stuff I told them back then is just like, okay, on the key. I'm the one with all the information. You know what I mean? So that's, that, was my, that was my motive back then. Okay. So I was speaking on a lot of stuff that, you know what I mean? Like anything to make the police feel like, oh, I know all the business. I, I, I can tell them everything they want to know. So again, you didn't tell them about your part in shooting up Rich Homie Kwan's barbershop, right? Did I tell them about my part? 